I'm here today with Kevin DeWalt, Hello. who's founder of So Helpful. He is also founder of the Lean Startup Meetup here in the DC area. Yep. Kevin, you're currently living in Beijing. In Beijing, yep. And tell us about what you're doing there. Uh, so uh, I moved to Beijing for my wife's career, and fortunately, because I'm an I'm a software entrepreneur, I can do what what I do anywhere in the world as long as I've got a flat desk and some electricity and a good internet connection. Um, we happen to have those in Beijing, so I'm working on my next startup in Beijing. And you're coaching a lot of entrepreneurs. Yep. What's it like to coach entrepreneurs, say, in China, or how's it different from coaching entrepreneurs in the U.S., East Coast, West Coast, Asia? Uh, so the uh, a lot of so the tactics are different. Um, I think. The, the biggest change in entrepreneurship in the past five years is that it's now gone from sort of just this, this you know, random haphazard process to people putting together a real management science for how to build companies. So when I started my career, you know, there was a lot of fluff and a lot of hand-waving about what you need to do to build a company. Now with the, the lean startup movement and the teachings of people like Steve Blank and Eric Reese, we now know what it takes to go out and search and discover and execute in a new opportunity. And so the teams in Asia are trying to learn those new principles, um, just like the teams in the U.S. And for the purpose of this conversation, I'll call that the lean startup. Practices. And how would you define the lean startup practice? Or it's management science for entrepreneurship. So it's what in business the, for 50 years we tried to take what works in big companies and what we learn in business schools and apply that in startups. And it turns out that doesn't work very well because big companies their primary mission is to execute on a known a known business plan. And in startups, you don't know what the plan is. So the mission of the startup is to discover the plan, not to write the business plan. And so lean startup is about the most efficient way to do that. It comes out of lean manufacturing, minimizing waste. Now, you say that there's some interesting differences mm -hmm. between how companies on the West Coast, startups operate or should operate, and, and startups on the East Coast. Talk to us about that. So, it, it's, uh, so within the U.S., um, the, the patterns generally fall, you know, with s some exceptions, and it's, this is changing, but the, the startups on the West Coast generally tend to be a lot more um, driven by potential, um, you know, going after big markets. People tend to be a lot more willing to take risk, and on the East Coast, it tends to be more financial. People are looking for more proven business models before they fund something. That's all starting to change because startups are coming out of everywhere, and uh, when I first started my career, if I wanted to know what was happening, I had to go to Silicon Valley. I had to go to the conferences and the parties to figure out what was happening. And now, of course, you don't need to do that. You need to get on Twitter and find out what's happening, and you can do that anywhere. So if you're working with the entrepreneur in Beijing, mm -hmm. what's the number one piece of advice that you give him or her? Uh, I, the advice I would give is the same advice I would give any entrepreneur in the world, and that's the biggest risks for your company are going to be one of three things. If you're in the web and mobile space, which most of them are, right? It's that, have you identified a real problem that people have? Can you get paid to solve the problem? And can you find a channel to sell, to, to profitably sell that problem? It's problem, revenue, channel. Most startups spend their time thinking about product, which is their solution, and they think about competitors. So my advice is to get out of the office, go find 50 potential people who you think might buy your product and go talk to them about whether or not you're actually building a real problem, real solution to a problem they have. Awesome advice. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for watching the Matrix Minute. Don't forget to connect with us on our blog and social media. For more information, go to matrixgroup.net.